Yep, I'm Connor Burns, joining the bottom of the order. Um, I'm a baseball coach up in Canada. Played with these bozos in Garden City, Garden City Community College, G Vegas, as they call it. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited to be uh, joining, talking some uh, shop on baseball. We are coming to you guys late. You ready for some hot takes? I am just just slapping on hot takes, just slapping all day. You want the introduction, or we pass that at this point? To my right, I will take a quick. Appreciation, Quinton. Quinn Bono. I got co host. Vish. How you doing, Vish? Co host is just not accurate. Here <laughs> for the high school. We're all from Colorado. I have a lot of Rockies friends. Congratulations on getting married. Hey, you idiot. Are you ready for some hot takes? He's like, this is why you bet on the Rockies in April. Question mark? It's 12 30 in the morning. So, you broke up. What is that? Right bottom of the order. Go Cubs. Burns. Yeah, Burns. 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 Burns, I got a question for you. Yeah, go for it. How did why why did the fucking Blue Jays just blow their load too early? Didn't blow it too. I mean, they were like very much a 500 team through April. April and May fucked them. They should have been way better, and they absolutely weren't. And that's because I agree. Our I first I was like, "Care bullpen sucks." Honestly, I think it's absolutely on Montoya on his usage of the bullpen. Like, through pretty much, much, pretty much, like, April through July, I was like, I knew Romano was the closer. Everyone else, I was like, I don't know what the fuck you are. I don't know what your role is. I don't know who you are. Also, yeah, we're just, like, fucking throwing in random fucking jamopes in there. And I was like, I don't know who any of these arms are. And Yeah, listen. Who- listen, from a guy that knows what a bad bullpen looks like watching Colorado baseball his whole life, I will, uh... We'll back that up, but how do you let the Mariners, the fucking Mariners, Nick and I, for the past three weeks, Nick and I haven't even talked about the Mariners. We just written them off. We, it's been the AL East wild card race, and the Mariners fucking came in here. What's going it's on? It's Oakland's fault. It's Oakland's fault. Nick, Nick's been shitting on the Mariners the whole fucking time. Nick, what happened? I don't know what the fuck's going on. The Mariners should not be a baseball team. It's Jesus, man. Absolutely ridiculous. Hey, good news. Good news. Marcus Simeon hit the most home runs since first second baseman. You know, that's cool. Uh, we're going to lose him. He's going to make a billion dollars this offseason. Probably to go to the fucking Red Sox, Dodgers, or fucking Yankees. It's just what's going to happen. I mean, for sure. Probably. A thousand. But going to happen. Man, he's a fucking item. I know, like man. I don't know. Man. It, what really fucked us, though, is we got real hot right after the uh, trade deadline. And then played some really good teams. And then we played, uh, we had a, it was a two game set against the Nationals. Three game set against the Tigers, three game set against the Mariners, and and then a three game set against the Orioles. And I was like, okay, this is like we have a chance to like absolutely separate ourselves. And we fucking blew it. And we lost we lost two we lost both the Nationals. We won one against the Tigers, we won one against the Orioles and one against the Mariners on. And then I was like, Oh, we're fucked. And then they went eighteen for twenty two and I was like, We're back and then I don't even know what the fuck's happening anymore. Dude, them and the Phillies were so fucking stressful to watch. They'd win like nine, ten in a row, and then just fucking blow it and lose eight in a row. Yeah, honestly, I like, think with, honestly, I... it doesn't make sense to me with those two teams. Like their their rotation, that should happen to teams with bad rotations, like with good hitters. Oh. And you have like you put like you yeah, should, when you have solid doing? rotations like that, that shouldn't happen. We just lose eight straight. Does Robbie Riggs win Cy Young? Also, dude, he is. I think it's look at our okay. Look at the Jays' run differential. It is fucked. It's a yeah. I know. It's yeah. on honestly. We, it's on Montoya and in the bullpen on how the fuck they manage it. Because like, holy Christ! On the, I think my biggest question mark though is if Pearson's up with us all year, if Merriweather yeah. wasn't on the fucking IL for a billion years, and those two guys for sure. But if it's like Kirby Yates, that was a question mark. But like, what if? He didn't have to get fucking Tommy John, and he was our closer all year. And you got yeah, you're rolling out Merriweather who throws a hundred, Romano who throws a hundred, the fucking wipeout slider, and Pearson who throws a hundred and five billion miles per hour. Like, Why didn't they go after a bullpen on them? I don't know. Also, Hyung Jun Ryu oh. has been an absolute ass cheek in September. He has been fucking brutal. Love, I love the fucking way to describe him. 
He's been in there. Not, not, not ass cheeks, but just one specific it's cheek. Up of the ass. In three innings, and he's just he right. played like ass cheeks. I make, just, I make he, he just one. Is he the? Would you say he's a left or right ass cheek? He's a left ass cheek for sure. Yeah, but I was gonna say he's a left ass cheek as well. Uh, yeah, I don't know. They, they're. I gotta stay pretty much right now. They, I mean, have to at least take two of three from the Orioles have a chance, and they pretty much have to fucking sweep. Who who did the Yankees and Red Sox play? They play each other? Uh, the Yankees no. play the Rays. So there's hope there. That's good. I think That's good. I think the Yankees are like two and a half up on us right now. No. Um, let me check. I, I can see. look. Uh, it's, it's two, and then oh, Boston oh. and Seattle are one. And then who I don't even know I don't even know who fucking Seattle plays, but I don't dude, I didn't even fucking watch Seattle. I was just like they're they're out. It's fine. Every time Nick every time I tried bringing him up, Nick was like, they're not a real baseball team, it's fine. The Red Sox have the, the Nationals. The, dumbest, the deadline they were like fucking illegitimately the dumbest team of the deadline. It was hilarious. Were they the dumbest they team of the deadline? Really, really, really they much. were. They were a good team and they were like a decent team, and then the management was like, we're just gonna trade guys away. What well, also to, 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 get, like, to get slightly worse bullpen arms? No, he literally went. He also publicly came out and was like, "We're gonna buy. We're ready to, to contend." Publicly, yeah. he said that to the media, yeah. and, and then he was like, now, gonna, "Kendall Graveman, you throwing the point nine? See you, Kendall." And then he was like, "Actually, I'll take it back." Is their so lineup good? The why? Why are they winning? I don't. I, actually, I don't know. I, like, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I couldn't tell you a fucking. Like guy in the lineup on their team. Yeah, you can. Mitch Hanniger, Seager, Mitch Hanniger, Mitch Hanniger, Seager, Crawford. I know Mitch Hanniger's been fucking killing it. I don't know anybody Cro- else on the team. I don't know. Crawford. Mike and- probably still hitting below the Mendoza, but he's gonna have like four fifty home runs. So like whatever. He's who's probably- there pitching? Like even when I played the Mar- like when we played the Mariners, I was watching. I was like, I don't know who any of these people are. It's like Marco Gonzalez. Their rotation Chris is not Boston, good. Like, it- like a three five. Marco was their opening day, right? He's been actually dominant since the uh, trade to, or the. You know, I know Jared uh, or Jared Kalinick because he was a top prospect. Jared Kalinick. Dude, oh, and so then they have, they have they have France also. Who? What's up? France. He's the country. Been... The country, yes, the country. Thai France. Ooh, pranked. Oh, in France. Dude, people like at the start of the year, like, oh, Thai France breakout year, and I was like, nah. Like, I feel like he probably is nah, a 750 nah. OPS. I don't get. I don't get is. how they're fucking. I just don't understand. It's like Chris Flexen, Marco's been really good again, and then who else is starting games for them? They have someone else decent. Is Paxton back? Uh, Paxton's back on the team. Paxton, yeah. They actually yeah. have a couple arms that I don't hate, but like I think, they're not Honestly, great. I think it's I more know. of a fact of like the absolute collapse of the Oakland A's, though. They yeah, they, they were looking they're like, sure. okay, they're going to be in the top spot. I, the part, easy. I thought, they could, I thought they could still win the division. I think we swept them in four games, and then the Mariners just oh, fucking oh, swept oh, them oh. too. Like, I don't know what the fuck. We Nick and I were so we, Nick and I were so wrong on this. Uh, we were so fucking bad. I don't know. Nick, so who'd you pick to win the wild cards a couple weeks ago? You, said you had Yankees, Blue Jays. Jays yeah. yeah, and I had Red Sox, Blue Jays. So, thanks yeah. a lot, Blue Jays. Dude, it's not over. They're only a game out, but oh, they got it, man. I think. I mean, they they can sweep the Orioles. The Orioles are absolute. Just, they're yeah, they're bad. bad. I, need to read, I need to read this to you guys. They beat the Red Sox it. tonight. I think yeah. Alex Wells it's threw me. and he threw it a seven. He threw like seven scoreless tonight. I, mean, I don't even know who the hell that is. He's not good. He's not, He's not good. good, dude. I'm in your death chart, it is like I don't know how, how they want to. It's like Mark to Marco. Flexen, Tyler Anderson, Kikuchi, Logan Gilbert as a rotation. Oh, he's been good. Nah. Honestly, man, it's just absolutely frustrating cheering for a team that's in the AL East. Because yeah, that's fair. like yeah, that's tough. That's this really tough. And the Red Sox aren't even supposed to be good this year. They just they were absolutely written off at the beginning of the season, and then they that's just- what the, that's the team Nick's shit on the most this year. I think. I still think they're not good. good. I don't think they're good. They wrote, they have a good lineup. They have a very good lineup. They're good either. If Listen. they make the playoffs, they're either losing the wild card game or they're fucking getting swept. They're not good. I still have zero idea, and I think they have zero idea who they're going to start in the wild card game. They have no idea, probably. 
Yeah, like I'm not. Saying I think of Baldy maybe, but I don't know. Yeah, I mean, sales well, not are available. Or sale or, maybe, but yeah. If sales not available, yes, yeah, like, so you can't throw sale and throw three innings. Oh fuck! I don't. Yeah, it's just oh, it's just bullshit. Also, like, what, okay, what do you think? Do you think this Blue Jays lineup they have right now is better it's than the best? The do you think it's better than the 2015 lineup with Guerrero playing like that? Yeah, and but like, yeah, probably. I gotta think. Like with Simi, Sim, with Simeon and playing like that, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, with Fox, and that team was like sure. Edwin, Bautista, yeah. Donaldson MVP. Um, Those are the ones I can remember. Tulo. Russell Martin hit like yeah. 275 that year. Oh, yeah. Who, Martin, played ru- who played right? No, first. Who played first? Who played first. He went to Florida Smoke? State. No, it would have been it would, Edwin, Edwin and Justin Smoke. Justin yeah, smoke. Yeah, smoke. Yeah, yeah. Justin Smoke. Thank smoke you. was like irrelevant there that year. Yeah. Um, or no, fuck no. No, it wasn't Smoke. That was the year after. Chris Colabello. Oh, my God, Damn. dude. And he oh hit like God. he hit 305 in 110 games. He was the most obvious steroid candidate of all time. It was like yeah. indie ball for like eight years, and then it was like yeah, like 30 bombs with like a 315 average out and of then, nowhere. Yeah, and then they had that, and then uh, Kevin Pilar was like fine in like the fucking oh, nine yeah. hole. And Revere yeah, was actually like sick team, when we got him. But, yeah. Are you? I are, mean. You guys are gonna miss it this year, most likely. But you got a good future. Like Rays, I think Robbie isn't Robbie Ray under control for a couple more years. Uh, oh, we gotta resign. He has no idea. <laughs> he has no idea. You gotta re- no, we gotta resign him. Oh fuck! Okay, what do you fine. speaking of future? Speaking of future, though, what do you think of the giving it like uh, the Berrios trade though? Yeah, I'm, I, I want I, I want to ask you about that. I love it. You do, dude. I loved it. I like Austin Martin. I don't love. I love him. Austin Martin. I don't even love it's my like, life. Man, like the, realistically, though, like where do you put him though? And we don't, don't need. We don't need any more fucking. Yeah. Now's the time to trade away assets for. No, that makes players. sense. Especially and his, his and his life. his value most likely will never be higher than it is right now. And realistically, too, like you look at like you lose Marcus Simeon next year, and like yeah, that sucks. But like, you think you're gonna be able to lose him though? Oh yeah, dude. dude he's no. So like the. This. So like we sure, were talking about this. Him. Dude, we were talking about this last idea, week. You know, underperform. But we were talking about this last week with since it's like seven of the top shortstops are going this free agency. It's either gonna hurt them or help everybody. Like someone, one per, one person's gonna sign for either three, four hundred million, and everyone's gonna get overpriced. Or t- everyone's just going to keep re-signing and there's going to be no spots for people think, to go. I just think I think the number one priority is re-sign Robbie Ray because he's a fucking animal again. Um, thing is, Kevin Biggio has been hurt all year. Yeah, and he's getting forgotten about. He's still like 23, 24. And he's like a solid player, like he just he's solid. He's, yeah, he's not going to become like a fucking forty home run guy. Like that's stupid. But like yeah. he's going to hit like two sixty with like a four hundred OBP. Yeah. He just gets he just gets on base and like I love you, yeah. that's yeah. valuable right there. And then we've got uh, it's uh, Gordon Groshans, I believe, coming up. Oh yeah, Groshans. Yeah. He's supposed to be fucking good. I think we go. We sign Robbie Ray. And then we've got our next year staff is the exact same. We we go and get another high end bullpen arm and hope a Pearson can actually be a fucking starter. Yeah, I like that. Like your roster moving forward is like honestly, I was I'm looking at it right now. It's pretty good. Like yeah, Biggio comes back. Your infield's really good. Honestly, don't resign Simeon because like whoever signs him, if he gets market value if they pay market value for a, guy, a second baseman that's hitting 40 home runs like he's going to underperform what how yeah. old is he 30 one 28 i don't know what, what, what would you be what would you be happy with him signing with Dude, I, I, signed, I, I, as, a, as a blue jays as a blue jays man he signed, and, yeah, he signed, him. Mil, he signed 18 mil for one year he's gonna want like yeah that's that's definitely fair more than that man like yeah, and he's gonna get someone's gonna pay him. 
Dude, I, I, he'll, I think I'll probably get like 150. Like, I, and I just can't. I can't even. I wouldn't even do 100, man. If that's me, like, I don't think that's even remotely worth it. I could see. Uh, if he played like this, it obviously would be. I just don't think this is a sustainable. I could see the Strohs. I could see the Strohs doing it if they lose Correa. I think. I think. I don't. Lose. I think the Strohs are smarter than that. Like, I really don't think. Like, I think someone will shit their pants and do it, but it'll be like the Yankees because, like, they can, you know. I mean, like, there's no room for him in that infield either. <laughs> Those I, feel like, I feel like the Red Sox will. Yeah, they could. They honestly could. Who oh plays who play, who play second for them? Ah, fuck. I have no idea. But, like, think about that infield. Xander Bogarts, Raphael well, Devers. And De- Devers. And, and Marcus That's Simeon cool. at second. Like, oof. Fucking boppers. I will, I will throw up. I can fucking swing it. It'd be pretty funny for the Red Sox to get no pitching and just fucking double down the offense they already have. It'd be, be very really hilarious. And and um and um saying, well, Chris Sale's back. Holy Actually, so I got it. The Mets are gonna do it. The Mets are gonna give Marcus. No, Sanders they're not. Million. No, because they're gonna they're gonna re-sign fucking Javi. I mean, he's literally been by far the best player. He's had the best year of his career. Though. Did you not see what Lindor said? What did he say? He was already like, Cohen can afford it. Which is just an Frankie, insane thing to say. This year and just... and the that's Mets, a good contract. I just think it's funny are... the Mets can't figure it out. How, how are you? How do you become a Mets fan? Why would you ever want to be a Mets fan? Dude, I asked so many people that in my office, like the first day I met. I was like, oh, I'm a Mets fan. I was like, you grew up in New York and you chose to be a Mets fan. It's just odd to me. Like also, you, you, you get to be a Yankee fan without me going a bandwagoner, and you also, chose the Mets, which is just odd to me. It's funny that they did all this stuff, got Cohen, got Lindor, made actually like some large moves to like in, like cook got Cookie to improve their roster this this year, and they're just and everyone was like, oh, they're for sure going to the division. And I was like, wait though, they are the Mets. That's like one thing I got right this year. I was like, just just wait, guys. It's the they Mets. still don't have a GM. It's yeah. hilarious. They're acting GM. Got a D. Acting GM. Can you get a Dewey? Yeah, I just did like two weeks ago. I get an acting of the acting GM. Like what the? Like fuck if you if you become the most GM, stop you RNG. may have stop. some sort of off the field issues pop up that are very substantial within fuck. a couple of weeks. Honestly, though, I think the most infuriating thing though is how the fucking Tampa Bay plays are. So good. Agreed. I, that I organization couldn't is so incredible at player development and drafting yeah. with it's arms. It's absolutely fun. insane, dude. We don't. And we don't. Have, we don't have to. Re, yeah, we don't have to revisit like we did last week. But Burns, also, they made they made know, trades like Boz. Yeah, Nick was gonna say it. Burns, just do you have you thought about that trade in a long time? And do you remember what, what trade? Chris, Chris Archer. Archer. From oh, the Rays to the Pirates. This is the best trade ever. The Pirates. That's the worst trade I've ever seen. <laughs> it's the, the definition of getting trade, right? They didn't make that like, trade. <laughs> Glass now Dude. and Meadows for Archer, and then Archer pitched that. Like, and, oh, and, Boss. and Boss. And Boss. And Boss is the best pitcher in the minor <laughs> leagues. Yeah, well, he was the player was to be named Boss? later. He was part of that trade? He was the player yeah, to be named he later. He was the player to be named later. Which oh. is not a thing. We 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 explained this Bob last week. We were, we were explaining last week how a trade uh, player to be named later. It's not your first round pick the year before. That's not how that works. Holy, fuck. what are we doing? Also, boss was like a hundred in high school, and they were like, "Yeah, player to be named later. You just have our first. Round <laughs> you can just have our yeah, first round pick. It's the Ray's best position player like, now. It's not Wander Franco. They're, they're the best is, pitcher in their fucking best. Payroll is long. forty million dollars, or like, yeah. The, well, the Ray, the highest paid player on the Rays this year is Kiermaier. He's making he's making eight million. I hate Kiermaier. He he sucks. Yeah, me too. Yeah, he's their worst player. I think eight million dollars. I think there's nothing like him, more overvalued in baseball than a defensive yeah. center fielder. Honestly, yeah, agreed. Agreed. I, I think it's very valuable, but I think like a defensive catcher, or shortstop, 100%. even just catcher, not really a catcher, matters way more. Yeah. Yeah, you see the pirate. The pirates don't care about defensive center fielders. They put Brian Reynolds out there. Pirates talk about it. Should we not even? Should I even talk about them? 
Democrats are an absolute dumpster <laughs> fire of an organization. Dude, they're so, so, so bad. I watched they're them so... tonight. I watched them against the Cubs tonight. I was just like, That's God damn it. And I can actually, like, I, I, I don't know if I can name three players. I can, but it's because I've watched. Yeah, Cabrian didn't even play tonight, and I was just like, what am I doing? And they had, man, they had an outfield of, who was it, Jorge Polanco, Starling Marte. Gregory, yeah, yeah. Well, Uncle still plays. No, he got cut. They they cut. No, he's in he's he's a, he's in the Triple A team for the Phillies. Oh yeah, yeah. I was in the Pirates. Cut, right? Him and him and Mark Appel are in the, are playing for the fucking Lehigh Valley. Yeah, Burn. Iron that year that they traded for Archer too. They had they had Tyon, Trevor Williams through to three one the year before. They thought they could count on him, which is hilarious, hilarious. And then Ivan Nova, Joe Musgrove. Ivan Nova still like, playing. Oh, add Chris Archer to this. Like, let's give our our whole future away. You know, Ivan Nova. It wasn't even like they still playing baseball. He's he's in the league still. I didn't think he was. No, he's not. No, I'm saying when they they oh, made the Chris like, Archer deal. No fucking chance. He's no, 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 no. But no they I'm, they looking, like I'm looking up the Pirates roster right now. Oh, let me let me quiz me quiz me. Okay, Dude, yeah. Nick does Nick Nick, can you stop that? You're fucking addicted. <laughs> You have a problem. I know. <laughs> you have a fucking problem of let me – really? It's Sporkle. So it all started with Sporkle. There's, there's so much shit on that roster. I'm not sure, like, who starts, you know? <laughs> I guarantee oh. I can do more than – I can get more than you, but I also watched the game tonight. Hey. No, no, no. Okay. I know – I legitimately is. know – I know two – I know two position players. Three. Nick, or t- I'm not uh, or t- Todd Frazier. Rockiel hit a, wa- uh, a leadoff homer again tonight. Who the fuck is this uh, team? Okay. Who's their – Homer, who's their catcher? Uh, Stallings, that's easy. Yeah, I don't know who that is. Who's their first bad, but <laughs> Who's their first baseman? Moran. Will he go nine for nine? Will he go nine for nine? Second baseman Adam Frazier, obviously. Nope, nope. He's he's, he's, he got he's traded. All right, he got traded. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> I actually don't know who plays second now. I can tell you who played tonight. Who's Tony playing? Newman? Who, who's their shortstop? Tucker or Newman? Tucker played second tonight. Okay, so Tucker at second. Newman. Hey, that guy's name. Newman Hudgens. is so bad. He's right. two twenty one of two fifty nine OBP. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Look at Cole Tucker. Cole Tucker is the worst player in the big league. <laughs> Nick Nick shits on Cole Tucker <laughs> so bad. So terrible. Like a, people liked him. I don't know why he never has played well. Ever. He was a, he was a, he was a first rounder. He needs to he's, stop he's, hitting he's right. He needs player. to stop hitting a right hitting right handed. That dude has no pop right handed. He doesn't have much pop left handed either. But Trevor Trevor Cahill, I didn't even know he was a person still. Do you have any rotation? He's on the 60 day IL, but he's listed on the roster. Jesus, oh, this, is a, this, this is an absolutely, this might be the worst team ever assembled. The problem is they have no minor yeah. leaguers either. They, they have Quinn Priester and then like, O'Neill Cruz. <laughs> they had Austin Meadows. They traded them all away to not make the playoffs. Also, Mitch Keller was like the best pitching prospect in baseball, and he's literally the worst pitcher in the major leagues. Hello. Like that guy is, I don't know, he's probably not in the league right now because he's been horrifying. It's pretty funny. I'm gonna. I, right. I want to get your take on the NL real quick, and then I'm gonna drop off. Yeah. Okay. Um, the Braves just clinched tonight. My one advice to the Braves: if I see Will Smith close out a fucking game anymore, I'm gonna lose my goddamn mind. That dude has like 35 saves, but do that makes. That do makes the ninth inning the most stressful fucking thing in the world. Just let Richard Rodriguez close. Oh, yeah. Do everyone a favor. Honestly, the the NL is irrelevant because the Dodgers are just going to go to the World Series again. Nick, oh, this is my this is my time. I'm not. just only going to say it once. I was wrong about the Cardinals. I guess they yeah, won the- eighteen. They won eighteen straight. I don't know. They're good. I guess. I'm right about the Cardinals. Adam They're Wainwright. Adam Wainwright turned back the clock. 305, 17 and 7. What the hell? Dude, he's throwing at like they're a 1 8. I'm, I'm just gonna keep the saying past like two also, months. Just so we can do this. They might beat the Dodgers in the wild card game. I don't even know at this point. I don't believe that, but. 
the Giants. What the I don't fuck? want that. Like I love the Giants, man. God. The Giants are cool and all, but like they're gonna face the Dodgers and the Dodgers are gonna just fist fight. The Giants have the Giants have five number twos. Awesome. The Dodgers. Just all, uh, imagine all if Trevor family. Bauer wasn't a horrifying person. Yeah, I mean, that's well, they wouldn't great. have they wouldn't have Max Scherzer, and the the Padres would have Max Scherzer. Oh, they probably and still the Padres probably. would be. Yeah, probably. You're probably right. They probably still, they yeah. probably still would have got. You're probably Friedman, right. Friedman would have made that deal just so the Padres would couldn't get him. They'd be they'd be like, nah, I don't want the Padres. The I don't Padres like thinking that Max Scherzer's on the Dodgers. It just doesn't feel right. Still. Yeah, I used to love Max Scherzer, and I still do, but I also kind still of still love Max Scherzer. Him. The thing is, my problem is I don't. I love the Dodgers players individually. I just don't like the Dodgers. It's a weird, weird relationship I have. Yeah, no, I get it. They're just the Yankees now. Like, that's what they are. Yeah, it's they're like better at developing players. The Yankees like just keep shooting themselves, like signing people. And they do, they they do all the things right and they have money. Quentin. It's fun because they should win a lot more World Series and they've won one baby, baby back bitch World Series. Yeah, What's up, Connor? Q, I should have won. Two, I'm, I'm surprised you didn't go on your uh, Dodgers aren't built for the playoffs rant when Burns. I, I did that. I said that. I said. I said that one week, and I don't know why I said that. Oh, you did I say that you, in the lineup, and we realized that Cody yeah, Bellinger could I said, be in center field with PJ Pollock, which is. I said. The, I said the Dodgers weren't built for the playoffs, <laughs> and then I looked at every single player as an 800 OPS, and I was like, I don't know why I'm fucking talking. <laughs> Their first guy off the bench is like Chris Taylor, and he went to the All Star game and can play seven positions. I was like, they're not built. They're not built for the playoffs. But they have four like game ones. Whatever the hell he wants. I was there when they walk. Uh, they uh, Turner hit the go ahead to run home run against the Rockies. That was Ooh, big an win. insane game. That was so much fun. Big win. big win against the Rockies. The Rockies are winning right now, so they think they're close. And you guys aren't going to be good for twenty years. <laughs> The Rockies winning right now is honestly hurting the organization so fucking much. It's hilarious. We're, yeah, we're a couple of bullpen arms away. Maybe Ramel Tapia can play center field next year. <laughs> Yo, I Listen. did see him pimp one of the most outrageous home runs I've ever seen off Max Scherzer. I don't know if it went viral or what, but he hit yeah, it. Saw it. You saw it? Okay. He yeah. did not leave the box until the ball hit yeah, and came stupid. back onto the field, and then he decided to leave the box. Yeah, he was Listen, like, holy shit, I just hit a home run off Max Scherzer. Yes, I but I was like, oh, my happened. Lord. Like, what, what happened to the Phillies? The fact that... you know, they're, they're, the, they're like, Nick, I, they're Nick, like I need a better Okay. Nick, I need you to do something for me. Okay. okay. Sorry, I'm, I've been cut, I've been cutting in and out here. Don't Dude, next year, have... 2022 season starts. Don't let me say, hey man, this is the Phillies this year. They're gonna do it. They got the lineup. Cause I say I said it for the past five years. Just stop. Just stop me, okay? Next year when it comes Listen. around, be like, stop. You say this fucking every year. I think you tried to tell me this year. I did. You know I love the Phillies individual players. And I love so their players so much. But they're like a baby version of the Mets. Like they just like there are these teams that like they could sign like Willie Mays in his prime and like you know Babe Ruth in his prime when they don't suck and they're playing against each and they would still suck ass and it is what it is. Or not or they'll just flop. And the Phillies are that. The Mets are definitely that. The Mets could sign everybody this offseason and still suck ass. It's just like they find ways to suck. And it's pretty funny to me. But the Phillies are that team. That's what happened. I'll tell you right now. The Phillies are the Phillies. And they're way too deep in to tear it down and restart, as we've talked about before. And it's kind of funny, but I also feel bad because I love Noah and he's been fucking horrendous. But I don't know. They made the right moves also. The moves like Ian Kennedy and Cal Gibson threw well. It makes no sense. That didn't even help them. It's like, what is happening? Burns, I don't know if you're going to be on next week before the playoffs. If you're not, I'm going to ask you this before I get off. Playoff, playoff matchups right now. Five-game series. You got Astro, White Sox. Who do you have? Astros. 
Astros. Uh, wild card game. We're just we can't even fucking say. It. We'll say the Yankees and Red Sox somehow. The Mariners don't make it. I'm not. I'm not going to answer that. All right. Uh, and then what would the NL be? Brewers. Oh, who do they play? Uh, Brew. Braves. Brew Braves. Uh, yeah. Brewers. Brewers. And then Dodgers. Wild card game. Cardinals. Did you guys see Devin Williams punch? Dodgers. Now the question is: Can the Dod- will the Dodgers beat the Giants? Five game series division. Man, the Giants are a fucking weird team. I don't. They've like they've won what 104 games, and I don't. I like. I don't believe it. No, me either. They, they're. And I, I mean, don't. I do not. It's cool. It. I love what they're doing. I love the rotation to start the year. I've been on the Giants to start the year, but I was on the Giants to win like 84 games, not. 104. I don't know how that they've done. I think I had their under. I have a theory. Yeah. So Kepler, the head uh, head coach, good old Skip, uh, very well known uh, when he was in Philly to be kind of like a little bit of a pushover. Um, he was said to have kind of lost the clubhouse a little bit. Philly is uh, gets a little bit wild, I guess. Uh, where. When he goes to the Giants, they have the highest average age for their 25-man roster, I believe. Um, they're just oh, a team full sure. stacked of just vets. So they don't need to be coached. They just need someone that's willing to put a lineup together that is willing to just uh, kind of manage the game, help them along, because they've been playing the game long enough. And now we're seeing uh, like just guys going off belt and stuff like that. Um, I actually just had on Hit Chat Chit Chat – uh, the gentleman I had on is from the Bay Area, and so he went pretty in depth about the Giants as well. Uh, so that's where I'm kind of getting this stuff too. But uh, I, their front their front office also yeah they're get some they're get really some of the most friendly veteran deals every year. Yeah, they're they're a really good organization though. Like yeah. it's, that's a good hire. It's, like, it's all from those uh, three World awful. Series that they won. It's all those same bets for sure. Well, like, but no, they they signed. Uh, who was their second base when they got? He doesn't think he played well, but like, was such a good deal. Tommy, um, yeah, it's Tommy. Tommy, yeah, yeah, dude, and the like, rotation, like, they they yeah, they and like those guys just threw teams. really well. Well, dude, they got like Alex Wood in a cheap deal. Like, who the fuck? Like, why didn't anyone do that? They just got Quintana, which I might he pitched terribly, but they got him for nothing, and he's making yeah. nothing. And, and he's yeah, a long reliever. He's not. He's pretty good. Yeah, like they just make really, 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 really smart deals, and they move their roster around a ton. But like even the, like the the veteran rotation, like they went Sanchez, they went Wood, they went Descalfini, who's super underrated. No one's ever talked about him. But look at his career numbers; he's not bad. He pitched better than you know his career, but, but still. Gosman, Gosman had the the year of his the best year of his career. Yeah, but Gosman's always a solid bargain arm. That like mm-hmm. they probably these guys are like and they have had Cueto, Cueto obviously before, and Logan Webb's been good as of late, but. Like, they just put together a solid rotation. And then, like, of course, it overperformed like fucking crazy. But, yeah. How many the guys do they have? The Phillies were like, ah, this doesn't work. And the Giants were like, we'll take him. And they just won 104 games. It's kind of funny. How many guys do they have that have won championships in the World Series? It's got to be a lot of their team. AB, motherfucker. They're all infield, right? I mean, probably. Actually, Longoria, yeah. definitely not. But I can search that one moment. Well, Longoria's playing. Oh wait, Chris is playing outfield. Yeah, Chris playing left now. Longoria's back. Yeah. yeah, they're they're also like just solid everywhere. Like it's like Longoria, yeah. like Crawford's obviously incredible this year, but he's just you know it's Crawford and then That's Mostella. Cool, like, they should have guys. I think that... I think it's, I think the two biggest things was fucking Buster Posey. Yeah, is hitting the quietest three hundred five ever. Yeah, yep. Dude, it's crazy. Because batting average matters. Yes, we're going. Crawford is fucking killing it. Who? And Crawford. Mm-hmm. Longoria was having a good year, even though he's been hurt a couple times. What? I said Longoria's had a decent year, even though he's been hurt a couple times. Oh, for sure. He's played really well when he's healthy. Yeah. And then, like, dude, Lamonte Jr. can play left and first, and he's murdered the ball. Like, he's solid. They just have good players, like, and then they have like Dugar or Duggar, or whatever, not Dugar, Duggar, and then Yastrzemski, and then KB in the outfield now, and like, 
they have good outfielders also. Like they're just a good team, you know. I don't I don't like they're honestly solid. their their uh their bulk bullpen. Like Jake McGee, two seven two yeah. Eric, Tyler Rogers, two three, uh Yarlin yeah. Garcia, two six, Jose Alvarez, two four, Zach Little, yeah. two eight eight, Dominic Leone, Jesus. one five nine. Like that's why they're fucking good. They don't give up yeah, runs after the seven crazy. innings. Don't forget to get shout out that Garden City boy. Uh, Roger he did. He did. Boy from down under. Uh, Dude, he's their best reliever. We, we should have just, just. We should have We should have just all been down under pitchers. Uh, yeah, what the fuck, Sandy? Anyway, why didn't you change all of us to that? We'd all be. <laughs> just, <laughs> imagine, imagine a team full of thirteen, like submarine, submarine guys. So that'd be a funky. That'd be a, that'd be a our funky. Our software uh, we didn't even have one. We almost did. <laughs> uh, what a really, yo, really quick, really quick. So look this yeah. up. Remember you tried, you tried Fritten also. Sorry, continue. Oh, I was talking about, yeah, I was talking about Ryan. It's like Fritten and Sweetman, they both sucked. Oh, yeah, Sweetman. Hey. hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Nine Thank players you, were on all three of these San Francisco Giants championships, 2010, 2012, 2014. Ooh. Only three of those players were still on the Giants in 2018. Can you guys name those three? Ozzy Crawford. 2018. Yeah. Ozzy. Ozzy Crawford Bell. You said it already. Nope. Oh, not Crawford. Crawford, Crawford. has been on the Giants the whole time. Nope. nope. Where did he go? He was Where's shortstop was like Marco Scudero in 2010. It was. Oh, he boy. wasn't in 2010. But still, three oh. players. Can sorry, you guys I'm name sorry, them? Not... Miles and Bumgarner uh... has been named. Oh fuck! It's not him. He's on. He's not on the team anymore. Yeah, uh, 2018. Oh, 2018. Oh, Madison Bumgarner, Bumgarner has been made, Posey. and there's two. Matt Posey. King. There's one other. Matt King. Nope. Sergio Romo. Nope. I don't know. Brian. I don't even Sergio. know what the question is, honestly. Panda, panda, like, panda, 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 panda. Oh, oh, Pablo. Fucking motherfucker. You... Dude, he's still he's still playing. He's with the Braves. Yep. But remember little, when he hit like 500 pinch hit bombs at the beginning of the year? Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. Nick, I, I blew Did Nick up about that. Year? It was fun to be like, maybe he'll be okay this year. And then you're like, wait, no. He's, he's, hey, he's bad. Bur- he's huge. Burns, this is, this is actually my last thing and I'm getting off. You know how I – remember the Trevor story thing I did to you and Nick? Yeah. Remember that? <laughs> Yeah, dude. I, I started doing that with every young shortstop, by the way. Dude, this, Nick, this dude has been only it's the only thing you've ever been right about. I know. Thank you. He's I'll take it. I'll take it. I, hate, I, uh, I actually I have nothing against Trevor's story. I just hate that he's good because of you. Yeah, I agree. Appreciate that. Agreed. Couldn't agree anymore. I just I hate him. But I also Yeah, I also but now now like every him. every young shortstop now that's in the minors. I king them as the best shortstop in baseball before they play. The dude is legitimately like he's so. He, when Wanderer was in the minor leagues, he was like he was convinced this dude was fucking Mickey Mantle. He made a bet with me. Nine hundred OPS this year, and I was no, nope, like, no, nope, it was eight eight fifty, eight fifty. Oh, take it easy. Nine hundred. He proclaimed that he was going to be the best shortstop in twenty twenty two. Yeah. Which I, I mean, I might. You know why he's not going to be the best short 722? Because Bobby, Bobby Witt Jr. is going to yeah, be the best short 722. Yeah. This fucking guy. He's, he's I'll, fig- been... I'll figure somebody out else after that. Also, you, you, you realize you're, you're taking, taking the, the I'm just taking number one prospects now. Yeah. Like, these are hot takes. You're just taking the No, I know. It's not a hot take. take. He's a really good fucking. <laughs> nope. I know. I know. You went 20 year old who succeeded at every level to. 20-year-old yep. who succeeded with everyone. <laughs> yep. Nicole Tate guy. Talent. Nicole Tate guy. Hey, you know, someone's got to do it. Someone's got to be the Cole Tate guy. I, I take I'm, – I'm, I'm rolling with Frank Schwindy oh. City, Schwindel, out to first base next year. Have you seen Frank Schwindel's number? Do you no. know who Frank Schwindel is? That's probably the appropriate question to ask at first. I don't know who that is. <laughs> you shouldn't know who that is. He's 28 years old. Actually, he might be 29. He's our he's our first baseman. 
Cubs. Uh, the Schwinn City is what we call him. Yeah, yeah, he plays every day. Um, he is hitting 332. This what? is uh, 230 at bats, also, but he's hitting oh. 332 with 14 home runs, 42 RBIs, and a 981 OPS, uh, and 230 major league at bats. I mean, the Cubs are just so, irrelevant, though, so it doesn't matter. He's the future. Nick, he's if we're just future. talking about prospects, oh, guys. He's uh, a 319 career minor league hitter, and he got waived by know, the A's. How does that happen? Moneyball. Continue, sorry. Moneyball. Analytics, Nick. You won't, You wouldn't get it. Oh, shut up. Let me tell you Let me that. tell you who the Pirates need to bring up, who is youthful and can still play. Stephen Wright. He's in the minors, and... Just bring him back. Didn't he have like, domestic abuse stuff? I don't know. But he, he throws that. His knuckleball still is very good. The Pirates are like, fuck it. We'll take anybody. <laughs> he's, he's, why is he playing AAA baseball still? I don't know. Pi- ask the Pirates. I don't know. Burns, do you want to see Vish get sad kind of quick? Yeah. All right. I'm going to get off, though. All right. See you, Q. Here, do you want to see Vish get sad? Ah. Uh, you ready, Vish? Yeah, and me. How are you feeling about uh, your rookie of the year? Who did I take in rookie of the year? No, 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 no. Your boy with the Cubs. I don't know. Who's the one dude that's in all the home runs? That's about to break Chris Bryant's uh, home run record. Oh, Patrick Wisdom. Oh, my God. Oh, God. He's in the DL, so. Oh, really? Yeah, but or the whatever it's called, I don't fucking care. But dude, he hit twenty. He hit what he's hit like thirty home runs. I think he just got hurt, but it's just sad because I I like Patrick Wisdom, but he's gonna fizzle out next year, and it's gonna be the Patrick Wisdom in the home in the, in the record book for the Cubs forever instead of Chris Bryant now, which is annoying because Chris Bryant's a hero. Will always be a, a Cubs legend, and Patrick was good for good for Chris had a Bryant. flash in the pan. What? Good for Chris Bryant. Good for him. You see his return? He cried. He cried on the field. Cried. Tears down his face. Yeah. That's because he knew. He was like, we won the one World Series, and now the Cubs aren't going to win another one for 108. (laughs) Yeah, well, guess what? We won one in my lifetime, so fuck you. (laughs) Listen... Our best player hasn't played a game in the Cubs uniform. Nick Madrigal is going to be a god. He is a god. Our, our roster is actually so bad. Like, Wilson Contreras, that he's terrible. obviously very good. But other than that, it is so fucking, like... Yeah, I mean, Wilson Contreras is probably going to be gone. Yeah, I mean, after in, in a year, I'll probably be gone because, like, we're probably not going to pay him. Hopefully, we can extend him, like, at a reasonable price, but it'll be, like... You guys Wilson, have, you guys have nobody. Go. Dude, like, Nico Horner hopefully is fine. Ian Happ, like, could be good, but he's a roll of the dice at this point. It's, yeah. It's been, like, he's every other year he's good. too long. Yeah. Yeah, well, he's I've just been waiting. I've been waiting for Ian Happ to, like, take the next step for, like, three years. Well, dude, like, he's played super well since the All-Star break, but you can't have a shit first half every year and then just play well and expect for us to trust you next year for the entire year. So we, we can't rely on that kind of inconsistency. He's played really well, but it's like, dude, I don't care. You're hitting 232 at 195 for fucking five and, uh, points. That's the, that's the Russell Martin fucking equation. Hit 180 through June and then somehow hit, like, 250. Yeah, like... But like it doesn't matter, especially now because we're out of the playoffs. So like I don't, I don't know. But like Ian Happ, maybe I don't, I don't love it, but whatever. You never know. And then hopefully Horner's good, Wilson, and then Madrigal, obviously, who has not played a game in the Cubs before. Do you do you remember early on? I think it was either maybe it was in May or June when we were texting, and you're like, dude, the Cubs are actually good. Yeah, yeah. It's tough. Listen, I'm just gonna say. Yeah, they were flawed. They were very flawed. I should have known, too. Like, the bullpen was starting so well, and it was like, I think Ryan DePere is one of the worst bullpen arms in the major leagues, honestly. I, I remember last year watching him through, I wanted to, like, he, he spikes more fastballs than any major leaguer I've, I've ever seen. And I hate Oh, I know. Him. He's on the Blue Jays. Yeah, yeah, you know, exactly. He also received an MVP vote, so good for him. But any... Received an MVP vote? Dude, no shit. 
the year we got him, like our first year, so two years ago now, this fucking guy got an MVP vote, and this baseball writer claimed it was an accident. And then I was like, if you vote for Ryan Tapera throwing at a three nine on the Cubs, having a marginally okay year, I couldn't watch him throw. I hated him, but he had a three to three nine, whatever. He received an MVP vote throwing forty innings or whatever at a three nine on the Cubs. I mean, if you do that, you should probably have your <clears throat> voting rights taken away from you. That's what I'm saying. Like, first of all, how are we like letting these dipshits vote on anything, including the Hall of Fame? Second of all. How is this dipshit still voting? How do you accidentally vote for Ryan Tapera? It's not. It's not, it's not like Weiss Harper. Like if it was a guy that like sounded like it, I would get it. But it's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? But yeah, they had a lot of flaws. Ryan Tapera is bad, and he he's, he is bad. Because he was, we were counting on him. The Kimbrel thing is real, obviously, but like you, could, you can't run one bullpen arm out there and like three good hitters, and then like. Cal Hendricks and just like a bunch of shit that who the fuck knows, you know. Davies has been, I thought Davies we could count on him. Like he's just been so like consistent in his big league career, but that guy has been so bad. He's leading the major league in walks, leading the major league in walks. Oh. <laughs> and when you do eighty-seven, <laughs> like that's not gonna work. That is terrible. How, like how does that happen? Also, Cal Hendricks is only at five, which kind of breaks. It's like four guys who have thrown under a three five. And you can last, I, like six years. You can, only throw, you can only throw like eighty seven mile per hour sinkers for so long. He'll be fine. Take it easy. He's gonna be back next. Once once we'll be relevant. Dude, they're they're gonna they're they're hoping for next year. Kyle Hendricks is gonna pitch at like a three five. In like yeah. June, and they're gonna they're gonna flip him. No, oh, fuck you. Hundred percent. Why you. would they not? How old is he now? Like 30, 30 months. Yeah, he's like you're not, thirty. You're not building around Kyle Hendricks. I'm sorry. He's also on one of the most team friendly deals in the major. He signed like a five year, fifty million dollar extension a couple like two even, years ago. And even more, and even more, the reason how you can get even more value. No, I get it. I I like I I. I flirted with the idea from with myself wanting to shop him this off season. I wanted us to trade Wilson a little bit also because we could have maximized value and just, but I mean, it's fine. The thing I'm most pissed about is Braylon Marquez through zero fucking innings for us in the minor leagues this year. And he, he's our second best prospect and has an 80 grade fastball on his left handed. I mean, yeah, you guys are far away. You guys need to sell everybody. I know. You almost like, also, Jed Hoyer's talking about like spending and like the, like in free agency. And I'm like, yo, I don't know if he's talking about like bargain deals here and there because I'm fine with that. But if he's talking about like big ticket items, I don't think we should spend a dime. I think we should just save and then flip major league talent we have for future value. I'm not saying flip everyone. Like if you can extend Wilson at a reasonable price, like do it. I'm just saying like the guys you have now that are going to be free agents, similar to what you did this year, just do keep doing that. And like like smaller term value guys, if Ian Happ comes out hot next year, trade him, like stuff like that. But yeah, he's like, like spend man, they need to, it's almost like <clears throat> what uh like Atkins and Shapiro did with the Jays. That's what they do. They they can't be mediocre. They're gonna be yeah. mediocre, and Atkins and Shapiro was like, "Okay, we're fucking trading everybody." And they traded everybody, yeah. sucked for two years, and then finally the kids started coming up, showed some promise, and then they literally said, "Like, we're gonna go. This is gonna be two stages. We're gonna make some big signings this year. We're gonna make some big signings next year, and that's what they've done." Yeah, that's now, like the best way to do it. So set up. And like, dude, if you try to be mediocre, you'll be mediocre. You'll lose everyone, and then you'll be fucking horrifying. Well, it's and like that's the Pirates. Like, the Pirates just did that with the, like the the thing we were just talking about. Like they're so bad now because they didn't realize what they were. That's like in the in the mid two thousands. Like <clears throat> only like Jays fans know those were good teams. They would, but they would just win like. 85 to 90 games a year. Yeah. But the Red Sox or Yankees would just win the fucking division every year. So it was just like, there's there's no point in being mediocre in that division, especially now that the Rays are somehow just an absolute. Yeah. Well, dude, it, it legitimately hurts you because you're like, you're not, you're, you're trading, you're getting nothing now except for 85 wins, which equates to yeah. literally nothing. And for okay, listen to this idea. I think they, they got to change the fucking playoff format. 
they got to let they got to let more teams in i th- i think they got to go so? i think they got to go top 2 teams in each league i buy add yeah. add one more wild card team and then it's like 6 versus 2 4 versus 5 in a best of 3 series okay it's literally yeah. adding one more team, but like the, it's bullshit that a bad idea. you're gonna have it. Like you're probably gonna have like the, either the Jays or the Red Sox. I think the Yankees are making it now, unless they fucking somehow get swept and like yeah, they'll make. It. I don't know. There's so many fucking scenarios. It's pretty insane, but like yeah. I think it's bullshit. Like the, if the Jays win 90 games and like the Mariners win 90 games and like the Red Sox 90 games and like two of those teams don't make the playoffs, it's fucking so stupid. No, you're right. Also, that's a good point. Also, like, I think the buy is a good idea because, like, I don't know. Like, this year the Dodgers are, I think they're even, like, okay, they got Max Scherzer. I know it's a wild card game or anything can happen, all that bullshit, but it's Max Scherzer in the wild card game. Like, they're going to win that. And then guess what? Like, I know it's baseball. I know that there's there's probably not even a 50% chance that they win it, but, like, they're going to win it. They're the best roster by far. The Giants should get rewarded for fucking 162 winning the fucking division. And that's a fuck. Like, it sucks to say that that's going to be a waste. They're not going to win the World Series because the, the Dodgers are better. There are teams that are better that aren't the Dodgers also. Yeah, it's Giants. fucked where it's like the Dodgers are the set, have the second, they're, they're going to have the second best record in the NL. And then they're going to play the Giants who have the first best. Like, that's stupid. Exactly. Exactly. And, like, the Dodgers are, like, the best. It, it, it makes no sense. And, like, the Giants should get rewarded because the fact they won the fucking National League and they're going to have the best record in baseball, it's, 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 it's going to be a way they're, uh, they're, like, I actually liked, like, last year with, like, the COVID format, I actually, like, I enjoyed that. Yeah. Like, yeah, that was good. I don't know. If you're... Like, five... If you're, if you're a 500 team, you're 81 and 81. Like, I think... If you win 86 plus games, like I think you probably should be a fucking playoff team. No, I very much agree. I very much agree. And like, like, I don't know, fucking MLB is so just like stuck in tradition. Like, like why, why would you not want, hey, let's add two three game series on top of the playoffs, like, and make more money? Yeah, dude, it's. I mean, Rob Manfred is a fucking clown. Like, I that guy's said a that fucking, for a long I'm time. Fucking a moron. Yeah, I mean, we've gone over some of the issues I have with him on this podcast. Um, there are so, so many. So many. Let it eat, baby. But, I mean, just like... I don't, I don't want to just completely change, change the subject here, because, like... <laughs> I'll start going on, uh, like the, just the marketing of the game, like that shit is ridiculous. Like, yeah, oh my god, fucking hate it. It's, for it's, it's, anyway, yes, the give the me playoffs. a hot take, Vish. Give me some hot takes on uh, our boy Robbie I mean, Manfred. Let me dude, let it eat. Hot take again. Hot my take main Rob, thing. Rob Manfred is a cuck. There, I said it. That's correct. That's that's correct. The dumbest thing I've ever heard is. Let's milk all the dollars out of baseball now. I'm not saying you should try to make money, but like they literally, like they they monitor their content on like social media platforms so much. But then they're like, oh, we want to reach the younger generation. It's like, well, no fucking sixteen year olds are paying for your content on Twitter or following your dumbass account. So stop, like Big Cat. They flagged Big Cat for posting Cubs home runs. He posted he would do a gif of every Cubs home run, and they fucking Major League Baseball flagged him. For and he was doing their job for them. He was growing the game. That dude has millions of followers of the audience for like a people that you can't reach. And he's literally posting cards and runs for you, marketing the game, and you flagged him. Like, how dumb are you? He's doing your job for you. If you want to grow the game, make more money in the future, not just now. I'm of course I'm fine. You trying to make money now? You should. I want the game to make money so it can grow. I'm just saying, dude. The same thing with like you well, can't like. <clears throat> You can't like oh. post a video of theirs. Also, it just gets taken down. Like shit, like that. It's just so stupid. 
Like, what are you doing? Our, Social media is a tool you can use. Stop fucking hoarding all of it and selling your data like to companies so they can post it. It's like, dude, you're you're making money now. I get that, but you're literally. The younger generation that you can't reach is on fucking social media like, all the time. You're talking about marketing time. and getting more fans in, like, fucking expand the playoffs. <laughs> Get more teams in the playoffs, so then more fans are like, oh, my team is a playoff team. The Cincinnati Reds this year, maybe they're a fucking, maybe they would be a playoff team. And then we're going to Cincinnati about it. Yeah. Fucking, like, it's also, fuck, I hate it. This is one I hate, but, like, they do need to shorten the season. And it would fuck up everything. Yeah. And I get why they can't, but, like, they actually need to. 162 games is it's crazy. fucking bonkers. Yeah, I don't want them to because it would fuck up the records. But other than that, like, I think it would be good to shorten it to, like, 120. But I don't think they can, but, like, they fucking need to, man. Like, No, I know. What would you guys think they about did. doing a deal where the entire season, including playoffs, if you won the World Series in the seven game, then it would be a 160, was it 264 game se- uh, season? Uh, but the regular season ended at, like, what would that be? 130 or something like that. But you include all of the playoff stats, which I feel they haven't done in the past. Yeah, but then that fucks up the playoff stats. And, yeah. I'm a traditionalist is like, in, that, in that sense, where, like, I, I don't I don't want to see the record. Like, uh, kind of, like, draw an aura of baseball, especially to, like, the hardcores like us, is, like, fucking records. And, like, yeah. the, the history of it. The fuck, like it's the longest running sports league ever, and like this yeah. history is just insane, and I would just fuck everything up that way. And yeah, that's like, like my. No, sorry, I was don't want to interrupt you. I'm I I'm done. Okay. Yeah. No. I uh I like the only way I could see it kind of happening is like just because of analytics. Like I I don't I don't know. I love like. Fuck, like the home run, like dudes breaking home run records or dudes like doing shit that matters is cool and it's fucking incredible. And like that stuff, and I hate when people are like, ah, oh, like the history of the game, like Ty Cobb and shit. It's like, you don't watch Ty Cobb. And like, I'm just saying, like, when stuff happens that is historic and you get to see it, that's like, that's cool. That's baseball. I, I love that kind of shit. And yeah, like you said diehards. That's what I live for. So that's why I don't want the season to shorten. But also, I could see it happening. I'd be somewhat okay with it. I don't want it to happen, but I'd be somewhat okay with it just because I don't look at how many home runs guys hit anymore. This is just on an individual evaluation standpoint. I just look at OPS, looking in on base percentage, so I can tell you how good you are all time just by looking at you know a couple analytics numbers. And I'm not saying again that that's all we should look at in player evaluation, blah blah blah. But you know, at least we could you know somewhat compare the you know, new guys if we shorten the season with old guys just by looking at those kind of numbers. But, yeah, the, I, I, I don't want it to change. That's I'm just playing devil's advocate right there with the other side. I don't want it to change because of all the historic, you know, numbers and things like that that I think are, are really exciting. And the home run rate, stuff like that, you know, it's all like that kind of stuff. It's fucking awesome. What was uh, – <clears throat> they didn't – I can't remember when they changed it to 162 games, but it was like, wasn't it 132 like in the 50s and then went up? Because that's why, like, when Roger Maris broke the Babes record, it was like, maybe it, was it wasn't 30 games. It was, it was 152, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was 152. I'm, I'm almost positive. Even then, holy fuck, man. Imagine back in, like, the 20s. Murderers Row playing 152 games. Fucking Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig and all those guys are just fucking hacking darts and eating hot dogs and just <laughs> all out. Like, what the hell? Imagine the fucking 80s Mets just having sex in the like, dugout and doing like, just, just doing, like, doing like, all of the cocaine. Doing all of the cocaine. <laughs> like, how, are they, how are those dudes alive? Like, how are they fucking still alive? <laughs> Good God. Yes. Oh, I'm actually. Did you see that they're doing that 30 for 30 on the the 86 Mets? Yeah, I can't wait to watch that. It's gonna be fucking sick. Yeah, I'm mean, I'm really excited to watch that. I that's gonna be so fucking. I think that's gonna be like 
it's just gonna be like people are gonna be interested in that because yeah, you know what they got they got to bring back uh the do you remember the hbo like the franchise yeah you got to bring that back yeah it really That'd screwed be... themselves by it was sick with the giants that year and then they picked the marlins and everyone stopped watching it yeah like also like why would you do that like that's like <laughs> especially when it was in, in its infancy you know <laughs> Yeah, they need to they need to bring that back because that was fucking sick. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. No. I'd I'd be all over that. Plus, I think a lot of baseball fans would be. Again, just make sure you market it correctly. Jesus Christ! I fucking hate that major league. It's you ridiculous. Did you guys ever watch uh, this week in baseball back in the day? No, I haven't seen that. Fuck, man. That was I don't. It's a it's an MLB Network show like back in the day, but like for some reason we got it up in uh, like our channel in Canada. And I'd watch, it was the sickest show. It was like similar kind of thing, like a lot of behind the scenes stuff, but like all of baseball. And like it was fucking sweet. Yeah, it sounds electric. I don't have, like, I don't know. I don't really have that type of stuff. Like, yeah, no, not at all. Also, yeah. like, yeah, there's, no be networks fine. I love D Rail, but like other than that, it's just like, I don't want to trash too many fucking public figures, but some of them just suck. <laughs> I hate most of the guys on MLB Network. I like D-Row. That's literally it. The rest of it, I'm like, what is happening? Like, what am I watching right now? Are there, what was, who is the guy? Out, oh, I can't remember this. This was the dumbest clip. Um, first, you had, what was it, John Heyman? Oh, who, dude. Uh, like, I didn't hey, even know what you were going to say. I, off of what I just read. Like, like, if they have a take, <laughs> it's a swing. And I was like, you're an idiot. Dude, like, you know what an active take means? Like you freaking moron. That was I one of the dumbest things I have ever heard. I if I'm if I'm the head of MLB Network, I'm firing him immediately. Oh, agree. Such a dumb, stupid take. But the other one was uh when they matched up, it was like it'd be like they'd match up like uh fuck, I don't know, like Tom Glavin or like someone like that to oh. like fucking um like a Rolls Chapman. And they they're like Dude. they throw the same, they throw the same velo, and it's like I literally think, starting at different spots. Like, what are you t- talking about? Man? We talked about this. This was the worst fucking... I Actually, we didn't have it on the podcast. I, I watched that clip. And I was texting with my old, one of my old teammates at Metro about it. I was like, are you... It was it was Al Leiter. It was Al Leiter. He, 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 no, it wasn't. Who fuck? What the fuck was it? Somebody pulled it up. They didn't want to say Pedro, but it was, when it, he was throwing 95, and there was like Gordon Hicks who threw like 103, and they're like, see, they throw the same. And I was like... No, they don't. They are starting them at different points. Yeah, also, like, they would start them ve- like, very closely. But I was like, they would show a picture that was, like, 94 and, like, 97. I was like, do you realize how little of a fucking change you can tell on the television screen that's on a center field wall? Like, are you fucking retarded? It was, it was, uh, it was, uh, oh, it was, uh, it was, uh, it was Bill Ripken. It was Bill Ripken. That's who yes. did it. Oh, my God. I, that was, I was like, Bill, are you? I remember, I remember watching that. I'm just being like, everyone is dumber. For listening to this, and may I, I, yeah, no, agree. I was like, are you trying to say that guys haven't thrown harder and all the guns are hot? Like, I, I don't doubt the guns round up at major league stadiums or on television or all that kind of shit. I don't doubt they round up a mile an hour. But if you're trying to say dudes haven't thrown harder, are you the, like, or how? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. No, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. That was the take going around, Bernsey. I don't know if you saw it uh, on Twitter with uh, the old heads, but. They all, once uh, Bill Ripken posted that video, that's all they were talking about is, see, I've been telling you guys, oh, the guns are hot, these guns are hot. Uh, they, start a, uh, they start the radar gun at different times. I've heard that they aimed the radar gun at different spots, and so that's why the radar gun, uh, it's more now, is because they're aiming it at a different spot. Uh, it, it's absolutely ridiculous, and when that well, you know why they you know why they do that because make it, it fucking, makes them feel good. Well, no, and it fuels their narrative that uh, the strikeout rate up because of the hitters, not the velo change and the stuff change. Yo, that's the whole MO. Like, dude, I read... oh, they're selling up the long ball. It's like no man, like launch angle and attack angle. Like Ted Williams literally wrote a fucking book on this in the nineteen seventies. Like shut. Also, like, 
yo, analytics changed everything because people were like, oh, wait, strikeouts don't matter. Like, they do, obviously, but, like, in the macro, like, unless it's a situational spot, like, dudes realize getting hitting singles is a whole hell of a lot harder than walking. And again, singles matter more. We know that than a walk, but, like, analytics whoa, whoa, whoa. changed how evaluation happened. Single does not matter more than a walk. It does. It does. A, you'd rather have a guy hit a single than a walk. It's close, but you'd rather have him no, a single. I would no. You would. Uh, no. A, a single can drive in a run. You you would. O, OPS even reflects it because it gives you it gives you on base yeah, and like, and like a hair. Sure. Yeah, exactly. I listen. I argued this with Q the other day, and I was arguing on your side. I agree with you. I, I think walks and singles. Like I think Yasmani Randall is a fucking goddamn literal god. Like this dude walks, all, he hits home runs and walks, and that's it. And I was like, you're my hero. But like it's like two thirty. I don't care at all. He can pitch frame, hit homers, and walks. And I'm like, I I love you. I love you. I love you. But like, yeah, like an out, an out is an out. Yeah, like an out's an out. A sh- and you, you know how hard it is to hit a hundred. Like you're gonna K a lot. And guess what? You're not gonna get very many singles. Not only that, but the the development of actual pitch design. Like, yeah. The, the shit now that they know about fucking spin and how to like actually sequence hitters. Like yeah, and tunnel. That it's like oh, yeah. it's like okay. If I throw a four seam fastball straight back, spin one hundred percent spin efficiency, and I match that up with a twelve six that does the exact opposite with one hundred percent spin efficiency, like you're fucked. You're fucked. Yeah. And you're just fucked. Like, the scouring reports too on like what guy like they have so much data on like what guys hit, what like what counts they're good at hitting in. Um, what pitches, what location, fucking, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Like, of course, there's yeah, going to be no. strikeouts. Like, no, you're right. Like, and that's a huge part of it too, where it's like back in the day, it's like, and I'm not, I'm not saying they didn't understand how to tunnel pitches in sequence, but like, it was be like, ah, throw low at the zone. Like, you know, it's like, I mean, I'm not saying that everyone said that or anything, but the, the, the change in like, yeah, just understanding how to understand utilize the what a pitcher has, it's like, if you've got a four seam fastball with like For a fuck, sure. fuck ton RPM, like you really realistically shouldn't be throwing fastball. Shouldn't throw down. Yeah, yeah. You need to be. And throwing we didn't know that. Like we didn't know that until literally five years ago. You know, we didn't know. Legit till Rap Soto came out. Like we didn't. Nobody knew that. Yeah. We kind we kind of knew it. You no, know, like we knew it was like okay, I'll throw a fastball up and I'll come back with a curveball. Yeah. Shit like that, but like we didn't. Oh, like I like I knew when I pitched, it was like, okay, my two seam, and my changeup have the same type of run, so like, I'm just gonna play yep. off that. Yeah, exactly. It looks a little bit slower, but like we didn't know, no, like we didn't actually have the data to like back up a lot of that shit. Exactly, and then understand like even you know deeper and deep, deeper sequences and how to tailor it's like you said to specific guys and specific hitters and all that kind of stuff. We're live, but hey, really quick, go retweet that. Uh... Or repost that Instagram. You can't All right. Yeah, yeah go repost it. Yeah, you fucking idiot. You, you fucking dummy. idiot. Yeah. Idiot. Idiot. That sounds horrible. Well, hey, you should have heard. You should have heard Q when he was in the actual casino and going, "How's this sound? Why are you in the casino? Why is this a thing?" Because I'm homeless right, currently. Okay, at the moment. well, I don't know. What, what do you mean you're homeless? I don't have a home. Homeless without a home. I, um, I'm flying back to Denver tomorrow at 5 a.m., so my flight is in six hours. And I was like, where else should I go? I'll just go to the casino, hanging out at the sports book. Why do you have a home? Why because my lease, en- my lease ended, Burns. You know what that is? You know what a lease is? Couldn't. You didn't ask them, like, hey, can you extend it one day so I don't have to fucking hang out at a casino all night? Maybe I wanted to hang out at a casino. Well, fucking, you know what I'd do? Just take out all your money in your bank account, put it on black, see what happens. I you actually should... said, can you shorten my lease one day? I want to hang out at the casino. Yeah, that's actually what I said. I said, Sh- this cat. Turn this, this cat. podcast into cube. You guys want wait, I'll just go gamble for the pod. We'll just podcast and be gambling all the time. Homer, is that the same yeah. cat with the uh, open heart wound? <laughs> no, dude, that cat is dead as hell. 
<laughs> you, remember, you remember when that cat bled all over my <laughs> <laughs> I'm just allergic as shit. That was hilarious.